it's you know you're going to get critters thrown on you, mm. but it's the smell. Mm. Right. The smell oh. of the cockroach oh. is yeah. absolutely disgusting. We have got <laughs> one of the Radio X OGs himself, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Vernon K. Yeah, yeah. Vernon. Morning, Vernon. <laughs> We're not, we're not family. Yeah. <laughs> so talk to me about this period now. So we've not spoken to Chris since last Monday. We all spoke to him on WhatsApp before he got on the plane to Australia. And then that was it. He's in this proper isolation right now. So talk about this period right now. Right. So from my experience, I was in uh, a beautiful farmhouse in Anglesey in North Wales. And I was on my own. But because I'm a Celebrity is a huge TV production, you can't really get your head around bit how big it is it's mm. absolutely massive there's someone to do absolutely everything so i had a nurse come around and do my covid test because it was during the pandemic uh, i had someone come and deliver me food my uh drink if i wanted some booze jordan north i think he had two deliveries three days apart of whiskey guinness gin <laughs> and lager uh, <laughs> because Poor Jordan North, he was in a terrace house with a load of builders working on the house next door, so he couldn't even go out in his garden oh, because, really? they were like, oh, yeah, because they'd see him. Whereas I was doing runs every day. I was out with the Royal Marine Security Guard that was looking after us. We were we were larking around doing some fitness. I took my golf clubs, so the farmer who owned the house and the farm where the house was, I was playing, I was whacking golf balls into his into the farmer's field. I was having oh, the time brilliant. of my life. <laughs> so, so hopefully Chris is having exactly the same experience because I think they're only isolating for about a week. Mm. But what what you what you can't get your head around is you think that the show starts on Sunday, but it doesn't. They actually drag you out on Friday and that's wow. when they start filming. So right. it comes to you as a little bit of a shock. You're like, well, hang on a minute. I've got I've got another day 24 hours on the Xbox. <laughs> I'm just working on my pitching wedge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was so funny. I read somewhere about uh about Chris's demands, he wanted a a, a cycling, a, a, a kind of a peloton type thing to yeah. get. To get yeah. And they're like, and they, he got battered because of his demands. I'm like, demands? You kidding me? I had a full on gym. I had absolute five <laughs> G Wi Fi. I had I had steak, fish. I had the I had the best food ever. <laughs> and he's like, oh, the, he got absolutely battered for wanting a cycling machine. That's why I, I had a squat rack. I had a cycling machine and a rowing machine. I had four hundred kgs of weights. I had dumbbells, barbells, <laughs> everything. I had an Xbox. <laughs> I had a I had a TiVo. I mean, you name it. Brilliant. I went all in because if you're spending two weeks on your own. Mm. I'm just going to be like Forrest Gump. I'm going to start running and never come back. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I just needed stuff to do to, to fill me time. And obviously those precious phone calls that you have on FaceTime with, with, the, with the family are, are so important because those are the ones that really matter to you before you go uh, and get your lips around the sheets, Willie. How do you reckon he's going to get on? Because I hear you talk about the trials and stuff, but Vernon, you're a much more blokey bloke than Chris Moyles. <laughs> 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 well, it, it's quite funny, really, because let's not forget, he built a career on being a shock jock, on being a lad, yeah. you know, mm. and whoa, beer and lager and all that kind of thing. Whoa. But actually, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. not. He's no. like the sweetest bloke ever. Yeah. Uh, and I think what he's going to have to do is, is just the, the most important thing and the best piece of advice that we got was from Shane Ritchie. And when we jumped off the edge of that cliff, Shane Ritchie, who is a god, by the way. Mm. Let me right. tell you that. Mm. And I'm saying that because he's listening now on the set. <laughs> <laughs> morning, Shane. <laughs> morning, Shane. Yeah, right, big dog. Uh, he, gathers, he, gathered, he gathered us around in a huddle before we went to get changed into our camp gear. And he said, listen, if anyone's got a plan, if anyone's got any ideas of being someone that they're not, mm. if you want to be or create something on this TV show in the next three weeks, don't because you'll get found out yeah. and it won't be a true representation of yourself yeah. and you'll actually look quite foolish. So mm. I said to Chris, I said, just go in there and be yourself. Just play you versus the jungle. Instead yeah. of you going in there and trying to take the jungle on your shoulders, just you let the jungle come to you and you face everything that they give you and just mm. enjoy it. I mean, Pippa, You've been a massive fan of Amoslev for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and you know more than anyone. It's all about the casting. It's all about yeah. the mm. people in there. I think we're in for a treat with this casting mm. because there's a few people in there who could get quite fiery. Talk to me about this story about you all singing Disney songs. Well, yeah, the key is it, 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 it was, it was um, uh, Rolling Stones and the Beatles. Oh, okay. So because those songs for the 
production company for ITV to play them out on air, it's very, very expensive. And I don't think they're what you call cleared. I don't think you get permission to air Beatles or Rolling Stones songs. Right. So whenever we had kind of a, an in-depth or what could possibly be deemed as a controversial conversation, one of us, once again, started by Cher Richie, <laughs> would sing Hey Jude. <laughs> <laughs> so you were chained to a bed and had castle critters poured over you. That, I mean, yeah. to be honest, you know, oh. that, that's just another Tuesday night for Vernon Kay, isn't it? That's just oh, a, another day, you know another day in the life. I was a student that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was disgusting because they, the, the, it's, it's, you know you're going to get critters thrown on you, mm. but it's the smell. Mm. Right. The smell oh. of the cockroach oh, is yeah. absolutely disgusting. And what was the worst one? Because you did the eating challenge as well. Yeah, eating challenge wasn't too bad. I had a sheep's brain, I had <laughs> uh, cow's nipples. Oh, and I remember watching de- that one. That was disgusting. That, that was absolutely yeah. disgusting. The nipples were aesthetically unpleasing. Oh, they were they? horrible. Yeah, they were but when you, when you put everything in your mouth, the texture of it is... Uh, Remember when you were at school and you used to buy at the end of your school pencil, the HB five? Yes. Oh yeah. And it had that it had that pink rubber on the oh, end. Oh yes. yeah. It would burst. It was exactly the same as that. Oh. But when when I ate my first Deer's testicle, it popped and it went all over my face. Oh. <laughs> I know. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like a wedding cake here. <laughs> uh, because you put two and two together and get five. Do you know what I mean? Like, because you know, a Deer's testicle serves a purpose. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, and I, official, and I, and I, and I, yeah. Well, you know, I think on the radio we can use biological terms. We won't get into oh, trouble. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but you know, but a, a testicle holds the semen for a male deer so that it can fertilise the female deer <laughs> once they have intercourse, and then they have a baby. Hence the birds and the bees. Wow. So I, I bit into this testicle and Hashtag it went all Bambi. over my face. Right. right. Oh, so I thought I was covered in baby Bambi. Oh. And I'm like. So it, as soon as I, as soon as that vision went into my head, I am absolutely yakking all over the place. <laughs> and Anton Deck are crying, laughing. Uh, Vernon, mate, so good to see you. We'll get you in the studio live at some point. Brilliant. Cheers, gang. What's up, man? Cheers, Cheers, man. Thanks, Cheers, Cheers care, mate. Bye, lovely. The Chris Moyle Show.